Daddy Yankee, Katy Perry and Snow. Uh, that is a nice little track where I think they had to include the word Snow because he was the guy who created most of the lyrics. Did you do that on purpose? I did. Did you notice? Oh, oh, good Actually, one. no, it was, in the, like it. It was oh, in the playlist anyway. It was. I would have been very impressed, though. It was cool, right? Yeah. We don't just throw the show together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so very well put, particularly planned. It is. It is very well planned. Now, we have a very special guest in the studio. Before we introduce him, would you like to tell us more about the event itself? Yes, I would love to. Now, Elucio Magic on Ice is the one-of-a-kind, critically acclaimed, Merlin Award-winning illusion spectacular that left millions around the world enchanted. A magical symphony of a breathtaking figure skating adventure awaits. That sounds so poetic. I love that. <laughs> From different corners of the world, from Berlin to Las Vegas to Madison Square Garden, we bring you Wheeler's magnificent, dreamy creation, now to the heart of Egypt, Cairo. The icy phenomenon will take place at Cairo's indoor stadium from the 16th to the 25th of December. Elusio's magic is suitable for all ages. Now book your experience from Tickets Marché and get ready to enter a realm of magical dreams. But wait, before you do that, because you, we want to tell you more about the actual event itself. And we've, I'm very happy to, to have Steve in the studio with us. Hi, Steve. Hi, thanks for having me. So um, please tell us more about the event itself. Well, uh, that was a pretty good uh, synopsis of the of the the whole event. But uh, yeah, the the show's a, a one of a kind show that is very unique. Something that uh, you haven't seen before. It's wow. uh, a combination of big, spectacular, uh, grand illusion combined, all presented on the ice. So we have the speed, the beauty, the power of of skating. Um, presenting the magic illusions and it's all done with uh, our uh, really amazing cast of skaters that are national champions many of them have competed in the Olympics wow so these are top level skaters and this very unique situation where they're presenting the magic with us as well as you know crazy uh, backflips and everything on the ice you know oh wow that's that's so cool i never thought of it in that aspect so you've got like olympic skaters actually taking part in the show as well right right so you know a, a typical ice show will be a, a, a normal uh, skating presentation this thing we're, it's much more theatrical something very different and a lot of surprises with the big magic illusions. Oh, wow. Now, how did you come up with the idea to create magic on ice? Well, I started doing magic as a kid, you know, of 10 years old, doing tricks in the neighborhood for the, for the kids in the neighborhood. Then I, uh, I started uh, competing in magic competitions, and I did really well. I won some of those, and I um, turned professional by the time I was 13. Wow. And then as a teenager, I was really involved with sports. I loved the ice. I loved skating. I loved hockey. And I also did a lot of um, uh, theater arts training, just really in-depth training with its uh, choreography, stage combat, and then even the behind scenes, uh, lighting design, scenic design, which I loved all of that. So as I was ready to graduate high school, I thought, I want to do this for a living. How can I combine the things that I love to do? So I decided, let's take the ice, <laughs> let's take the magic, and Theater. Big, big rock concert lighting oh, and yeah. spectacular pyro and all this, <laughs> and create something that people have never seen before. I was going to say, because you said that you did magic from when you were like 10 years old. Right. And you, you're like, right, do you know what? I feel like I've mastered magic now. How can I make this more <laughs> difficult for me? <laughs> but I'll shoot that yeah. on skate, while yeah. I'm skating. Let's do it on the moon. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes when we're, we're setting up our shows, we've got, you know, four truckloads of equipment and, you know, 26 technicians setting everything up. I think, you know, back when I, I was training, I did a lot of uh, uh, mime, pantomime training, yeah. classical French mime. I think maybe I should have been a mime. You know, <laughs> I just have my suspenders and my gloves and <laughs> I, I wouldn't have all this, but I wouldn't have all the fun of doing what we're doing now. So this I'm really doing what I, I love to do. And uh, it's, it's, I'm, I, I realize I'm fortunate to do just that you know so i wanted to ask you about the show's audience like who is the audience or the show catering to the show is for everyone so if you're four or you're 94 you're gonna love the show um it's it's for it's it's for everyone 
It's not a kid's show. Sometimes with ice shows, people think it's only for the kids. Mm -hmm. Now, the kids love the show. They love the magic. They want to come back. It's I, I love seeing the kids' uh, expressions when the magic happens. And their, wide their eyes are wide yeah. open. <laughs> and they're looking at their parents like, oh, what just happened? <laughs> but it's not a show for the kids. It's for everyone. It's a, you know, a date night. It's a, bring the entire family. It's a very sophisticated show. Uh, um, so it's not just for kids. But kids love it, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Of course. Okay, uh, if you're okay to stick around for a little bit longer, Mr. Wheeler, Steve yes, Wheeler, uh, we'll play Little Mix and Between Us, and then we'll be back to ask more questions about this amazing event that's starting this weekend. It's Master Wolf and BB Rexer. It's you, not me, Sabotage, here on 104.2 Nile FM. Now, Steve Wheeler from Steve Wheeler's Elucio Magic on Ice is joining us in the studio. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. How's everything so far? We look, are we looking after you? Yeah, everything's good. <laughs> yes. yeah, okay. We're having amazing conversations off air, I have to we say. Are. We're discovering more and more about the show, and it's spectacular. Like, really how it's all coming together and how you put it all together. So, before we get into that, though, I'd like to ask you. So, the show has performed all over the world. Yes. Like, give us examples all over the world. Well, uh, <laughs> tell us Seoul. now. Where have you been? Seoul, Korea, Berlin, Germany. Uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, Los Angeles, Kuala Lumpur. Okay, <laughs> okay. Manila, the Mexico the whole City. World, like yeah. literally the yeah, whole yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. So is, it the, is this the first time you perform in, in Egypt? You bring the show to Egypt. It is, and we're very excited to be here. Oh, wow. And how, how long have you been here for? Uh, we've been here for, I have lost time here. <laughs> I think it's been about a week, but uh, it's been a crazy week Uh of preparing, preparing setting up. Yeah. yeah, rehearsals day and night. Yes, and that sort of thing. yes, yes. Okay, uh, now uh, one of the questions we were, um, uh, I'd like to, it, so it's it's magic yes. on ice. Yes. Not, it, that's not a description of it. It's actually what it is happening. It is. <laughs> it is a large scale illusion show that is presented on ice. Yes. It isn't just an ice show with the name magic. Hey, to, that's magical. Yes. Yeah, it's not like that. <laughs> right. Now uh, we were talking about that award we were the, the we mentioned earlier yes. also off air. You want to tell us a little bit about that? So you won a very prestigious award for the world's best magic show. Right. Do you want to tell us about it? Yeah, it's the uh, the Merlin Award, which is the top award in uh, in magic. So it's it's the equivalent of the Oscar for films, but wow. for magic. Wow! And um, uh, many very famous magicians, David Copperfield, uh, Chris Angel, have won the award in the past. So it was very. Uh, uh, nice honor to receive that that's amazing how long does it take you to um because you bring everything with you we were just yes. discussing this yeah. so you're bringing the ice rink with you we are uh, and the little tractor thing that goes around and, and the zamboni uh, yes the zamboni i, I, have to I learned a that. new word today. zamboni, zamboni yeah. the word of the day is zamboni, zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> so you brought everything with you how long does it take to set it all up and then practice uh and actually well not train but just um, have rehearsals for the event itself well, it depends on the, the role of the performer in the show. The more uh, detailed uh, aspects, roles in the show take much longer and more uh, intensive training. And, uh, but for the whole cast, uh, we'll, we'll rehearse for about three weeks prior and then another week once we're here. And m a majority of the cast has worked the show before and then occasionally we'll bring in new cast members. Again, all top figure skaters, world-class skaters. So we're not we're not training them how to ice skate. They mm. they've spent their entire they've done life. Well, From the time they were three, they've there been goes on the my ice. chance of yeah. joining the show. Um, <laughs> actually, there's always a chance. You never know. Well, she, yeah, she has trouble walking. Well, like, like, yeah, yeah, actually, actually I th I'm sure skating would be easier than walking for you at the moment. So <laughs> possibly. <laughs> okay, so the show starts on the 16th. It's running all the way through until Christmas Day. That's right. So yes. you're spending Christmas in Egypt. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Uh, now, you can get your tickets from uh, Tickets Marche, um, and it's being held at the Cairo Stadium Indoor Halls. Um, I, I, I'm actually going to the, the event at the weekend, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to bring the entire family and come we'll and check out. We'll um, And I'm going to see if I can try and work out how the magic works. Could you try and get him to skate? That would be so much no. fun to watch. <laughs> Nobody wants be... to see him. The only, th the only good thing about me is, is if I fall over, I'll bounce back up again because of the, uh, the bit of a belly. It's all good. So I'm gonna. I'm one of those people that tries to. No, no. Hang on. How do they do that? How, how do they do that? I'm you gonna know, sit there trying to work it out. You should just relax, take yourself to another world, and and, and enjoy the magic. Yes. Instead of struggling the whole time. Exactly. Oh, although maybe that's fun for you. I like to work out things. Right. I like to know how things work. I take yeah. them apart and then I fix them. Or 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 or. or 
Oh, we'll throw them away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve, thank you very much for joining us on the show this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me. No, it's going to be a, um, an absolute. Um, it's, it's something that I've never seen personally before. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to it this weekend. Are you going? I would love to, but I, I, I'm probably going to try and make it. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. Sorted. Sorted. You can get your tickets from Tickets Marche. Yes. Steve, thanks for coming on Nile FM. Thank you. Hit music for Egypt. Nile FM.